What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So I hope you all know that I do my best to balance all of the viewer requests that I get for reviews with the other content that I know you would all like to see here on the channel. But after being bombarded with questions and requests about one platform in particular, I just couldn't push it off anymore. So today we're gonna be reviewing the Acorns investing platform. Now, if you've spent any amount of time looking into beginner investing platforms, then I'm sure you have stumbled upon Acorns and you may have seen a lot of people saying that it's a scam and that it's a waste of your money and others saying that it's absolutely amazing. So today I want to break down everything that this platform has to offer, talk about why some people are so hard on the Acorns platform, and give you my thoughts on whether or not this is a good place to get started with your investing journey. So if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this with someone who you think can enjoy this video as well, and let's jump right into it. So when Acorns hit the market in 2012, it was one of those platforms like Robinhood that really shook up the investing industry as a whole. Now, Robinhood obviously was the one who pioneered the no commission model that the industry has largely moved towards as a whole. However, Acorns really put themselves on the map with what they call their roundup investing feature. And we're gonna talk about that feature in particular in length today and why it is so important to this platform. But in a nutshell, this allows you to automatically invest your spare change without even thinking about it. And that really is where Acorns got their start. But before we talk about that in depth, let's talk about the three different account options that Acorns offers. And yes, spoiler alert, Acorns is not a free platform to use, but don't freak out because if you're going to go off and buy your own index fund or ETF, then you would be paying a small percentage in what's called a management fee anyways. So the way that you're paying for your access to this Acorns portfolio is just going to look a little bit different and it's going to come in the form of a regular flat monthly fee. But no, this isn't going to cost you $20 per month or even $10 per month like a lot of your subscription services. Services. The first tier, which is called Acorns Lite, is just going to cost $1 per month and gives you access to that roundup features that we just talked about, as well as the ability to invest in your very own portfolio based on the level of risk that you're willing to accept. So for $1 per month, we've got the Acorns Lite, and that brings us to the second tier, which is the personal account that is $3 per month. With this tier, you're going to get all of the investing and roundup features that we talked about from the previous tier, but also have access to Acorns Later, which is their retirement account, as well as Acorns Spend which is their checking account. And Acorn Spend is not the focus of today's video, but I will mention that this gives you access to 55,000 free-to-use ATMs and some bonus investment opportunities with their partner merchants when you use your Acorns debit card with that Roundup feature. So those are the two options for individuals, but if you do want to take it a step further, for $5 per month, you can get all of the features that we just talked about, and this is the family package that is also going to allow you to set up investing accounts for your children. So I know this might sound like a very niche market, but let's say you just had a kid, or maybe you just have a young child in general and you want to start saving for a car for when they turn 16 or maybe start putting money aside for their education without getting into the complexity of a 529 plan. Well then for $5 per month this is a really fantastic place to get started with that saving for your child and automate that investing process. And keep in mind that just like any other investing platform you can always transfer this money to another brokerage if you decide to level up in the future. So to summarize we've got the $1 per month basic package which is Acorns Lite that allows you to automatically start investing and use that round up feature, the $3 per month option that is going to give you all of those features as well as the retirement and checking account, and then the $5 per month family package that is also going to allow you to set up accounts for your children. Now $1 per month may not sound like a whole lot of money, and you would be right, however this is actually the area where a lot of people rip Acorns apart and say that it's a scam and all of that good stuff, but personally I don't think this is a fair judgment, and here's why. The reason a lot of people give Acorns such a hard time is because, let's be honest, the Acorns platform is geared towards people who are just getting started with investing. And let's say you have the $1 per month basic account and you're just using the Roundup feature without putting in any outside money into your account. So let's say by using that Roundup option, you're able to scrape together $100 in spare change from your various purchases, and that will automatically be invested for you. Well, if you're investing just $100, but you're paying $1 each month or $12 per year, then you're actually going to be paying a 12% management fee, which if you don't know anything about investing is absolutely ridiculous high and you will never be able to grow your money with such a high management fee just because a good annual return is usually around seven or eight percent. Okay, but what if you put in some money externally in combination with the Roundup feature and say you had $1,000 invested in your Acorns account? Well, that is definitely a step in the right direction since $12 per year on a $1,000 investment means that your management fee would be 1.2% rather than 12% and 1.2% is much better. But again, when compared to a basic ETF, 
ETF or index fund, this is really going to be a lot higher than what you could get with something like VOO that currently has a management fee of 0.03%. And VOO is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. So what I'm getting at here is, yeah, if you're only going to be investing $100 or even $1,000, it's really not worth it because comparatively, the management fee that you would be paying is gonna be really high as a percentage of your investment. I don't think it's fair to say this is a scam or anything like that, but the flashy allure of investing just your roundup change is really gonna be a little misleading because anything that you're able to earn from that spare change is gonna be way less than the amount of money that you're paying to Acorns for that account. So if you are gonna be using the Acorns platform, then I would recommend that you are at least investing $4,000 because $12 per year on a $4,000 investment means that this is a management fee of 0.4%, which is definitely a lot better than the 12% management fee we talked about earlier on an investment of $100. And 0.4% is still gonna be pretty high, but at least it's a little bit closer to what you would pay on some index or mutual funds. Just keep in mind that you could always go off and buy an ETF on your own with a much lower fee, but the allure of this platform is not having to do that and automating everything. And speaking of the automation of your investments, I think it's time that we talk about the Roundup feature that is the foundation of the entire Acorns platform. So essentially what this does is if you go to Panera, for example, and you spend $19.55 by paying with a card that is linked to your Acorns account, then Acorns is automatically going to round up that purchase to $20 and invest that extra 0.45 or 45 cents for you. Now you can customize exactly how much is rounded up right within the app and set up multipliers of two, three, or 10 times. So if you round up 10 cents and you have the 10X multiplier, then Acorns is actually gonna invest a full dollar for you on that roundup investment. But remember, this isn't just free money that they're giving to you. This is money that they're pulling from the card that you're using to spend. And they're simply rounding it up to the nearest dollar and investing that spare change. So if you are brand new to investing and you really want a hands-off approach, then this is definitely a nice feature. Now, the other big question is where is this money actually being invested? Because with the Acorns platform, you're not able to go buy your own individual stocks or ETFs, like what you can do with other platforms like Robinhood or SoFi. But that's not what Acorns is designed for. Again, it is made for individuals who are looking for a fully automated approach to their investing. And because of that, Acorns is going to give you your choice of five different portfolios with varying levels of risk that go all the way from aggressive down to conservative. So to give you a quick breakdown of each of these portfolios, you can actually log into the Acorns app and look at each of the options that are available. So the conservative portfolio or the least risky one mostly holds short-term government bonds and short-term corporate bonds and has a three-year return currently of 2.2%. One step to the right brings us to the moderately conservative option, which still largely holds corporate bonds, but also sprinkles in some large company stocks in a small percentage of small company stocks. And this portfolio has a three-year return of 5.8%. The moderate portfolio is right in the middle and again holds corporate and government bonds, but a much larger percentage of large company stocks with a three-year return of 11.25%. Fourth, we have the moderately aggressive portfolio, which is probably the most popular portfolio on the Acorn platform with 38% of the portfolio made up of large company stocks and the rest of it made up of bonds and small company stocks with a three-year return of 5.81%. And lastly, we have the aggressive portfolio, which is made up of 80% large, small, and international stocks with the rest being made up of sprinklings of those other previously mentioned investments. And this has a three-year return of 5.59%. So obviously these three-year returns that I mentioned are not gonna give you a big picture of each of these portfolios. However, for some perspective, VOO, which is that Vanguard ETF that I talked about earlier with the really low management fee, had a 10.62% three-year return over that exact same period of time. Now, this is not to say that the Acorns platform is useless or that their portfolios suck, because I will say again, this is not designed for someone who is really hands-on and knowledgeable about investing. It's meant for the person who knows that they should probably be investing their money, but has absolutely no idea where to get started, and more importantly, really has no desire to learn anything about it. And that is completely okay, and that's that's why this platform exists. So no, I absolutely would not say that Acorns is a scam or a bad platform or any of that crap that I have seen on the internet. However, I will say that it is important to be an informed customer. And if you're going to spend $1 per month or more on this platform, then as I mentioned earlier, you definitely wanna be investing at least a few thousand dollars. Otherwise the management fee as a percentage of your investment is gonna be way higher than anything that you will be able to get as a return on that investment. So if you're looking for a fully automated way that you can get started with investing without even having to think about it, then I would definitely check out the Acorns platform since it is a great place to get started. And if this is a platform that you wanna give a shot, then there is a link down in the description below that will give you $5 for free just for opening up an Acorns account. And this will also help support my channel
channel, which I really appreciate. And one last thing, even if you are brand new to investing, I highly recommend that you check out some videos on my channel and on YouTube in general about getting started with investing and trying one of those platforms like Robinhood or SoFi that will allow you to purchase those individual ETFs like VOO that we talked about earlier at that much lower management fee. I know the idea of fully automated investing is really attractive, especially if you are confused by investing, but I promise it is not as complicated as you think. So if you are brand new, sure, give Acorns a shot, but if you only have a few hundred dollars, then even just putting that in a simple ETF, which you can buy through a platform like SoFi, would probably be a better option in my opinion. And if you do want to try SoFi, I have done a review on the SoFi investing platform on my channel, and there also is a link down in the description below that will give you $50 for free when you open the SoFi investing account. Between Acorns and SoFi, this is a fantastic place to get started that will allow you to automatically invest while also learning the very basic functions of investing through something like SoFi, which is still a really simple platform compared to something that's really complex like TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab. With that being said, let me know what you think of the Acorns investing platform down in the comments section below and what other platforms you'd like to see me review in future videos. If you did enjoy today's content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who you think can enjoy it as well. And as always, thank you so much for your time. I seriously do appreciate it so much. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.